Hi Fibernatics, this is Tori with Feathertail Fiber Arts and today I'm going to be telling you my favorite things about Shetland wool. <laughs> Shetland wool has been around for hundreds of years and it is a top favorite of a lot of hand spinners and for good reason. This fleece is amazing, it is so versatile, it is still next to skin soft for most people. And there are so many different variations within the breed itself. So you really can get a lot of different um, uses out of a fleece like this. Now this is a fleece that I have pulled for you guys. It is raw, so it is not going to be this dark when it is washed. This is a Shetland U named Ivy. And she has an absolutely stunning fleece. It is really soft and cloudy. It's really lovely. You can see that she's got a really long staple length and it's gonna be a lot of fun to process. I can't wait to wash this and spin it up. Now I also have for you two yarns that I can show you that I have spun from Shetland Wool. This is an adult U fleece or a yearling U fleece. So this was her second shearing. And you can see there's just a really soft glow about this type of fiber. It's really squishy and soft. It is definitely something I would wear next to skin for some people that are really sensitive. It might be a little bit rough for them. But again, this is a really, really, really lovely next to skin soft fleece. And it wears really well too. So this is a hardier fiber that you can use for a lot of things that you'll wear um, on a regular basis like hats, gloves gloves, socks, that kind of thing. This is the other skein that I pulled to show you guys um, one of the colored fleeces that I have worked with. And again, you can just see that soft shine to the fiber. This was a lamb fleece, a gray lamb fleece, and you can see the really soft variation in the color in this. This was a dream to spin. One of the things that I love so much about Shetland is that it really is a forgiving fiber. It is very easy to spin. It is very easy to process. This is a great fleece for beginners. So if you're looking for a beginning fiber that is a little bit easier to process, but still gives you some really stunning yarn, this is a great option. Another nice thing about Shetland fiber is that it plays very nicely with others. So if you're looking for a fleece that you can blend with some alpaca or some silk, Shetland is a really great option for that. It blends really nicely and it's very easy to spin in the company of other fibers as well. One of the really cool things about Shetland fleeces is that they come in a wide range of natural colors. There's a ton of different Shetland colors. So anything that you like as far as the natural color spectrum goes, you'll probably be able to find it in this breed. So to recap, the Shetland is a great beginning fleece. It plays really nicely if you want to blend it with others. And it's really forgiving and simple and easy to spin and prep. Added bonus is the fact that it comes in such a great variety of natural colors. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave any questions or comments below for me, and I would love to hear about your experience with working with Shetland wool. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure that you sign up for our email list where you can see more videos, get some amazing discounts, or if you just want overall fiber spoilage, that's the place to be. Trust me, you won't regret it. So you can sign up over at feathertailfiberarts.com.